Doxa, family and friends, we are busy with the series, with the theme, the teachings of Jesus. Now my, na my name is Rulof Groveer. This morning I want to talk to you about do not judge, but evaluate. René started yesterday with this topic about we should not judge. And he spoke about Matthew 7 verse 1 to 5. And it's such an important topic, but sometimes we miss the whole picture. When Jesus said that, he did not stop there, but in verse 6, he qualified them. I want to read it for us. In verse 6, it says, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. You see, the dogs in this story is not the pets we are used to. Uh, what Jesus is talking about is the dogs that lived on the street. They ate on the garbage heaps of that time with the pigs. And they were many times, they were dangerous animals. They were not domesticated. And the, their appetites, the, the places they hang out, revealed something of their character. And we should evaluate the places and the things people say and what they are busy with. That we should definitely do. That is what Jesus is saying in these words. Are the company you are with, the people you surround you with, are they busy with the right things, righteous things? Um, if you evaluate what they do and what they are busy with, we are not um, judging their character or their motives. But you can evaluate what they are busy with. And that will teach us something about what they are busy with. Yes, we should not judge. But please, we need to evaluate. When people are busy with things that are not wrong, sometimes we need to distance ourselves from that. The Bible says we should not judge. But we should evaluate um, by looking at someone's fruit. If they are a false prophet, are they teaching scripture? So let's... Remember that when it comes to this command, do not judge, it doesn't mean that we should not evaluate. We need to look at the whole picture. Yes, we need to read verse 1 to 5. We need to check our own hearts. But we also need to read verse 6. Evaluate what the people that are around you are busy with. And sometimes it maybe mean that you need to distance yourself from that. May God bless you today. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you gave you, us your word so that we have light and that we can evaluate what are going on around us. Help us in this day to glorify you in everything we do. Amen. Thank you that you tune in. May God bless you. Bye-bye.